Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, it sounds like I've got the sniffles. I've just been outside. It's not even cold. It's fresh. It's nice in the sunshine, but it makes my eyes stream. So I look like I'm crying. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> I've just had a streaming session. That's interesting. The sounds of that um, vehicle reversing is just kind of like, back up now, back up. Okay, rewind, go back. Let me stop now. How far do you want to go back? I'm not sure if these cards are in reverse. They are. King of Pentacles. Okay, that is the Divine Masculine's energy. I mean, the Emperor is, but the Emperor still has a tight hold of his ego tight hold of his ego okay let's put these cards up the right way okay we've got some that are i don't normally have reversals but there's one card in here that's in reverse oh it's the hangman but he's awake okay that's a good sign the hangman is awake in my deck okay right then wow interesting it's friday shall we thank the lord that it's friday today Let's have a look and what, let's have a look and what, and what? Oh, seriously. Uh, lots of questions, maybe? I'm not too sure because someone's awake. The King of Pentacles is in reverse, so he's going to want to turn that around. It could actually be, because I mentioned about the Emperor energy, we can have those cards, so just kind of flipped into my hand because we had i mentioned the emperor energy and then we've got the the king of pentacles in reverse i feel that's this masculine is trying to let go of his ego rather than holding on to his should we call it his pride anyway let's have a look at these cards here pick a card pick a card pick a card we're not doing a pick a card reading two of cups five of pentacles the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, I thought so. What did you think, Lucy? Well, I saw the Two of Cups, but I felt it wasn't a true love connection. It's meant to be a true love connection, anyway. I can see the real true love here. Karma. A massive cycle here we're going through, and it feels like it's for the Divine Masculine. So we're going to take into consideration what I've said about the Emperor um, and then the King of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Pentacles being actually the husband card as well. So the Two of Cups is here. That's very highlighted, that green on his arm, isn't it? When I hold it up like that. I've never noticed that before. Hmm. It's like he's turning into the green man. Now, if I wasn't on my mobile phone recording, I'll do some research into that, the green man. I was taken to having green hands, but he's turning green. Also, there's enviousness, not jealousy. Is he turning into the Hulk? <laughs> I don't think so. I felt it was more of a gentler energy. Okay. Well, this is a transition here. This masculine is changing. Because to have the two of cups and then to go through material and spiritual changes in your life. So this is dissolving. This connection. I spoke about um, snowdrops yesterday. When you see snowdrops coming up from the snow, it's a sign that your manifestation is soon to be. Okay. The other side of that is actually the King of Cups, the King of Love. This is a new position for him because he's gone through the transition. Now this King, I feel, is emotionally stable. He, he's known what he's emotionally wanting for himself. And I feel like enviousness and jealousy has got in... got in arm's way. 
I know you'll keep something at arm's length, but in arm's way. I'm sure it'll all make sense. Okay. So now this masculine's getting what he's wanting. He's gone through the transition. Not left with much. It's not looking too bad, though. You've got five pentacles now. I feel like you... You might not be left with much, but it, this could be an equal exchange. Like you receive what you rightfully deserve. I feel like half of everything. It feels like there's an agreement here. I actually felt like my number 11 had snapped off then. I heard kind of a snap. <clears throat> so there are still some coins hanging on the tree. Or hanging. There's a few there. Look. How many is there? I've got six hanging. <laughs> King of Pentacles now, emotionally aware, because we had the hangman, and he was in reverse, which means he's actually upright on, um, I wanted to call it the cross. He's upright on the cross. The king will send out the knight to make an offer of love who is he offering that to the queen of pentacles the divine feminine's energy here i started off by saying the king of pentacles is prominently the divine masculine's energy and then we have karma not sure about the image here what this means I don't feel like I need to delve into the meaning of it. I just personally am not picking up a meaning for this card. It feels like a group, I actually feel they're all feminines, a group of feminines here about to, well, to celebrate. We all get what we rightfully deserve. We get what we deserve. That's karma. Remember, karma's a bitch, but only if you are. Okay. Well, that was interesting reading. The bottom of the deck. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles. Very nice energy here. Um, this masculine... There is a Robin Hood energy here that you take from the rich and you give to the poor. But I feel like he has enough. I spoke about the Emperor, uh, which normally the Emperor, he's a family man, children, wife, uh, career. It's all like lined up. It's all lined up. Okay. I feel things are lined up for him now. He has enough money to dis distribute. Got six of pentacles. Okay. Hmm. Interesting, because I'm really taken to kind of what hand. He's pouring six pentacles from his left hand, which is where the six pentacles I pointed out here is a big one. <laughs> okay, my ears are... Um, mm, mm, mm. We're connecting to the universal heart. Well, let's have a look and see... I want to go to the Law of Attraction cards. I'm not, I'm not prepared for this. I'm going a bit deeper because I feel like the journey of love. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Seriously, please. Oh, okay, well we can use them. Enchanted map. <laughs> we'll get to the journey of love in a moment. On the way, we do a pit stop to the enchanted map. Let's have a look. Why are we whispering? Mm -hmm. It's all exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Follow the leader in reverse. Follow the leader, leader, leader. Follow the leader.
reversed, as that ban is, reverse in our veil. Reversed, the follow the leader card offers a gentle push to get up and take the lead. In a relationship or partnership, be the one to voice what must be said. I do feel talking to you, Divine Masculine. You need to voice what must be said. Muster your courage and speak your needs aloud. Affirm what you like and what you feel. Don't just hope for someone else to fit the, pro to fit the problems, you see. Hmm. Don't just hope for someone else to fix the problems, you see. If your inquiry is about a career or project, you must take the initiative to draw up a proper plan. And if it's about a personal relationship, you must be clear about your intentions and desires. Boldly begin to boldly begin to discuss. It says boldly begin a discussion. <laughs> oh, stump for words. I know the feeling. Okay. Boldly begin a discussion about how things really are and how to make the situation work for the highest good of all. Do this as soon as possible. You may be pleasantly surprised by the results. Okay. It was in reverse. Unexpected visitors in reverse. 41. It's the next card, so 40 in reverse and then 41 in reverse. <clears throat> unpleasant news is only unpleasant when you resist accepting what is. Sometimes the thing most desired is kept away from you because it's not for your highest good of you or others. Sometimes there is loss or disappointment due to a destiny whose pattern can't be understood yet. Change is something that may be forced upon you, like bad weather that threatens a boat. Adapt to the shifting conditions and think how beautiful the sky will be afterward. Accept what is, and a more fulfilling path will soon be revealed. Remember that if you expect the unexpected, nothing can come as a shock. So that has something to do with the karma card here. Sometimes there is loss or disappointment due to a destiny whose pattern can't be understood yet. Okay. Sometimes the thing most desired is kept away from you because it's not for the highest good of you or others. And I felt something about being kept at arm's length. Well, I mentioned that even though that wasn't what I meant, but that come through. Okay. Um, let's go to the Law of Attraction cards. My chair's got a bit creaky. <clears throat> mm -mm. <laughs> Let me shuffle them a bit more, please. I feel like I should be asking them a question, but I really don't know what to ask. That's the energy. Um, the law of attraction is my life's basis. Card number three. <clears throat> Got two cards. Since the law of attraction is the basis of your experience, an understanding of it is essential to living life on purpose. In fact, an understanding of the law of attraction is essential to living the life of joy that you came forth to live. I feel very drawn to read from Napoleon Hill's book again, How to Raise Your Own Sally. How to Raise Your Own Sally. <laughs> Aunt Sally. Are we words all gummage now? <laughs> okay. My goal of happiness is important enough. Card number 54. My goal of happiness is important enough. The reason you are not conscious of any specific pre-birth goals is because there were no specific goals. You had, before your birth, general intentions such as being happy, being an uplifter, having continuing growth, 
but the specific processes to achieve those things are up to you to decide here and now. In this time, you are the creator. Let's repeat that. The reason you are not conscious of any specific pre-birth goals is because there were no specific goals. You had, before your birth, general intentions such as being happy, being an uplifter, having continuing growth. But the specific processes to achieve those things are up to you to decide here and now, in this time, you are the creator. Okay. Well, let's go to Napoleon Hill. Maybe I should have a look at the page numbers that are on here. So page number three. What will be on page number three? When do they start numbering the pages? <clears throat> when do they start numbering the pages? Well, seriously. Oh, okay. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three. It's the contents. Well, that's uh, this could be really informational for you. The contents of how to raise your own salary. The famous success formula of a great American industrialist who taught thousands of people how to increase their incomes. Right, okay, chapters. One, develop definiteness of purpose. Two, use the mastermind principle. Three, develop an attractive personality. Four, employ applied faith. Five, go the extra mile. Six, use organised individual endeavour. Seven, cultivate creative vision. Eight, exercise self-discipline. Nine, organise your thinking. Ten, learn from defeat. Eleven, Seek inspiration, in brackets, applied enthusiasm. 12. Control your attention. 13. Apply the golden rule. 14. Cooperate. 15. Budget your time and money. 16. Make health a habit. 17. Benefit from cosmic habit force. 18. Keep the source of all wealth. Is there any more? That's it. Benefits from cosmic habit force. The man who can get the job done without excuses is on the highway to self-advancement. Let's go to page number 54. Okay, we've got another list of things here. So let's... um. Let's read this. Thus the smile, the tone of voice, the expression of the face constitutes an open window through which all who will which all who will may see and feel what takes place in the minds of people. Let's repeat that. Thus the smile, the, the tone of the voice, the expression of the face constitutes an open window through which all who will may see and feel what takes place in the minds of people. This naturally suggests to the smart person the use of caution in connection with this open window. The smart person will know when to keep the window closed. He will also know when to open it. Okay, Napoleon Hill asks, Mr. Carnegie, I haven't been keeping to accurate account of the different traits of an attractive personality which you have mentioned because of my intense interest in your remarks. Which trait is next, sir? Andrew Carnegie. We are up to number nine, which is tactfulness. There is always a right time and a wrong time for everything. Tactfulness consists of the habit of doing and saying the right thing at the right time. And I'm going to enumerate for you a list of the more common ways in which people show their lack of tactfulness. I suggest that this list may be of immeasurable benefit as a checkup on one's personality. Here is the list. Number one, carelessness in the tone of the voice, often speaking in gruff 
antagonistic tones that offend. Number two, speaking out of turn when silence would be more appropriate. Number three, interrupting others who are speaking. Number four, overworking the personal pronoun. Number five, asking impertinent questions generally to impress others with the questioner's own importance. Number six, injecting intimately personal subjects into the conversation where such action is embarrassing to others. Number seven, going where one has not been invited. Number eight, boastfulness. Number nine, flaunting the rules of society in matters of personal adornment. Number 10, making, making personal calls at inconvenient hours. Number 11, holding people on the telephone with needless conversation. Number 12, writing letters to people whom one has no reasonable excuse for addressing. Number 13, volunteering opinions when not requested, especially on subjects with which they are not familiar. Number 14, opening questions. That doesn't say that opening questions, it says openly questioning the soundness of the opinions of others. Number 15, declining requests from others in an arrogant manner. Number 16, speaking disparagingly of people in front of their friends. Number 17, rebuking people who disagree with one on any subject. 18, 18, number 18, speaking of people's physical afflictions in their presence. Number 19, correcting subordinates and associates in the presence of others. Number 20, complaining when requests for favours are refused. Number 21, presuming upon friendship in asking favours. Number 22, using profane or offensive language. Number 23, expressing dislikes too freely. Number 24, speaking of ills and misfortunes. Number 25, criticising our form of government or some other person's religion. And number 26, over -famili familiarity on all occasions with people. Napoleon Hill. This person who checks his personality against that list and finds himself not to be a violator in any of those ways is indeed fortunate and he is a rare individual. I can see that tactfulness is another trait of personality which is related to mental attitude. Now, Mr Carnegie, what is coming up as number 10? <laughs> well, let's just leave it there. <laughs> What's coming up as number 10? I felt like the government. What's coming up? At number 10. <laughs> oh, okay. I want to find the... Um, well, I've already found the journey of love. I just can't actually get them out. <laughs> Slide them out here. Okay. Let's see what the journey of love would like to say. How long have we been on for? 23 minutes, 43 seconds. We'll have that card. The communal dance. Card number five. So the five takes me to the transitional number here. This part here, going through the transition. The communal dance. Lover, you have been alone too long. Your community calls you to surrender your isolation for this moment in time and instead join the cosmic conga line. Do you know how special you are? So much that this community would not be the same without you. Your individuality and uniqueness can only enhance this group of souls that calls you to dance with them. Men and women, human and spirit, heaven and earth, your community is vast and rich and has much to share with you. Be lifted in celebration of belonging. I feel this was the energy here. Be lifted in celebration of belonging, recognizing 
that you are part of something great? Can your heart grow warm with recognition? You belong. You are meant to be a part of this great dance of love awakening on the earth. Your heart is already beating to the rhythm of the music. This oracle brings you guidance. You are being drawn into a new community that is more aligned with your innate spiritual vibration. You'll feel more at home there and be able to share your gifts and talents more freely and with greater support. Let go of relationships or situations that you have been holding on to out of fear. This here. If they are meant to continue with you, they will remain. If not, they will fall away, creating space for new connections to come into your life now. This is not a time to hide in what you have known, but to be open to playful connection with kindred spirits soon to be met. Shall we finish with this? I think we can finish this reading with this poem here. When I stood in front of you, I knew something was in store. I could feel the excitement of our journey ahead, for I had been that way before. Each person comes into our life with lessons we may see, and in the reflection of that other self is the person we can be. Okay, I will catch up with you guys soon. Until then, take care. Much love. Bye for now.